Audio Technica sent me this pair of headphones for review, so let's review them. This is the ATH ADG1X gaming headset, which at the time of this video is their highest end open back headset made specifically with gamers in mind. The box boasts of high fidelity audio reproduction and even mentions composer Frank Klopacki being a fan of them. But make no mistake, these are not made for casually listening to music or doing audio work. And you'd be better off looking at Audio Technica's other headphones for that. In fact, I still use a pair of slightly customized ATH M50s for certain situations. They're still a great bang for the buck and can take a lot of abuse, but they're not the best for gaming, especially if you're playing online and need a microphone. The ATH ADG1X is tailor made for this purpose, of course, not only in the sound quality, but the design of the headset itself. It has a built in gooseneck microphone that cannot be removed or really even pushed out of the way that much. And this is a personal preference, but I wish it had a removable or even retractable mic like the SteelSeries Siberia V2. But recording quality is probably more important, and at least it sounds nice. Testing, testing. This is the microphone in its default state. I have not modified the sound or done anything to it, really. It's just uh, capturing directly to my Zoom H2 in here. So this is pretty much what you're going to get. As for the headphone portion, it's an open back design, which means that the outer shell of the headphones are not closed off. This not only means you'll be able to hear external noises, but the sound feels less in your head, so to speak. It's not isolating at all. Now, I can't speak for everyone, but I actually quite like open back headphones for gaming with other people in the room, because that way I can keep the game sounds largely to myself, but can still hear when someone is trying to get my attention. And in my opinion, it augments the sound in many games, making everything feel less claustrophobic and more free or something. But as I mentioned before, these aren't exactly made for music or working with audio editing. But for games, I have no real complaint with how its 53mm drivers reproduce sound. The bass exists without being too heavy, the highs are crisp without being painful, and the mids are pretty much just how I like it and makes any dialogue sound pretty great. You definitely have to be okay with one thing though. These are massive over the ear headphones. And I quite like it this way, but it's worth noting that these are bigger than any gaming headset I've ever used. This isn't really an issue if you're sitting at a desk, but for things like virtual reality where you're moving your head around a lot, it's not ideal and they'll often bump up against your shoulders. However, don't take the size to mean that they're heavy because they're not. They're constructed of some kind of tough yet lightweight plastic weighing in at just 10.1 ounces. And this does have the side effect of making them feel rather cheaply made, almost disposable actually. But the effect is that, man, are these comfy. With super plush ear pads and these little thingies up top they call the 3D wing support system. And this just means it doesn't put a huge strap over the top of your head and keeps them gently resting against your ears. And since I wear glasses, that's pretty important for long-term comfort. It also has a decent rubbery cable at 3.9 feet long with one of those four pole three and a half millimeter plugs on the end. And there's a 6.6 .6 foot extension cable that it comes with, which also acts as a splitter to provide traditional mic and headphone jacks, which is a nice touch. But I've got some bad news. Even if these are comfortable, lightweight, and have a nice microphone, the ATH ADG1X is one of the crappiest control boxes I've ever used. For one thing, the microphone mute switch makes this horrendous popping noise anytime you activate it. So whoever's listening to you online or in a recording is going to hear that obnoxiousness every time. And possibly even worse though is the volume control knob, which, ugh, it's highly unresponsive for like 90% of its turning radius and then at the end it blows out the sound. Just listen. Nothing, 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 holy crap! You have basically zero fine tuning ability for the volume using this stupid little box. So I just ended up leaving it turned most of the way up and adjusting the volume externally, either through software or through hardware, like this vacuum tube headphone amplifier I sometimes use because dang it, it looks cool and it has a volume knob that isn't a pile of garbage. So yeah, even though they have some problems with the mic popping and volume control, I'd say the ATH ADG One X is a pretty decent headset for a hundred dollars. Eh, wait, what? They're three hundred dollars? Ah, dear. Well, that changes things. 
See, if I'm expected to pay 300 bucks for a gaming headset, I anticipate zero issues, period. And being their top-of-the-line headset, I expected way better from Audio-Technica, and I don't think anyone should be expected to make this kind of compromise at that price. They still sound and feel quite nice, but I'd wait for a significant price drop or an updated model that fixes that awful control box. And if you enjoyed this video on this headset, perhaps you would enjoy these others on those things. New videos here every Monday and Friday on LGR, so subscribe if you would like. And as always, thank you very much for watching.